Hey guys, Pete I here with another tutorial, this time on how to warp a song in Ableton quickly. Uh, my technique for this actually involves using another piece of software. We're going to be using Serato to uh, analyze the BPM of the song. I found that this really speeds up the process for uh, warping songs and uh, makes it a breeze. So if you haven't already, go ahead to go to serato.com and download the software. We're going to go ahead and open Serato right now. And today we're going to be using a um, song from a buddy of mine, uh, Crescent Phase, uh, by my homie Wavegroove. Uh, be sure to check them out on a Bandcamp. Uh, check them out, Voidshift at Bandcamp. So here we go, let's take a listen to the song. Now what we're doing here is we're trying to find uh, the approximate BPM just in our head where we think the range of the BPM might be. Let's go ahead and skip ahead a bit. Okay, I think I have a general idea of what the BPM might be. So let's go ahead and uh, add that to Serato and make sure that the range of the BPM uh, is correct. Uh, 58 through 115 sounds about right to me. So we'll go ahead and analyze that song in Serato. Give Serato a second to do its thing. All right. Serato's finished analyzing the song and it's come up with the BPM of 73. Um, that sounds about right to me. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and make sure that this BPM matches the BPM in Ableton. So go over to Ableton, switch that BPM to match 73. Next we're going to go ahead and grab the song and drag it into uh, Ableton. So uh, while the song's loading, what we're going to want to do is find the first beat of the song. So let's zoom in, make sure it's nice and tight. Go ahead and lay that the start marker there. Now once we have the beginning of the song, let's just double check real fast. Yep, sounds about right to me. We're going to right click, then click on set 111 here. Right after that, going to right click on the same spot and click on warp 73 BPM from here. Now this BPM matches what we've set up here, and again, that's matched what we found in Serato. So go ahead and click on that. This will go ahead and warp the song to that BPM straight across. So let's give it a listen. That right, sounds good so far. Let's go ahead and skip ahead to where the drums come in. Yep, sounds on time to me. Go ahead and skip ahead. Again, all right, lining up. Now one more thing you might want to do is go ahead and turn on the click. Make sure that that's on time. Get the little audible uh, check. All right, sounds good. Now we're gonna go ahead and skip to the end here. Just make sure it stays on time all the way down to the end. That sounds good to me. We're all wrapped up, and you have a song perfectly uh, warped in um, Ableton. So if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below, and I'll, I'll do my best to go ahead and answer those for you. Uh, if you found this video helpful in any way, uh, be sure to like it and subscribe. Uh, there'll be more video tutorials to come. Thank you, guys.